Welcome to Make It, your business, the podcast. Get the advice you need to grow your business by getting guidance from industry experts and interviews with successful small business owners. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe. Good afternoon, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. All good today. So, today, I thought I'd excite you by doing something a bit different. <laughs> Glad you did that. No. For the podcast. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, before we do a quick file round, uh, on the back of last uh, week's episode, we said that we were going to try and sort of help out business owners by sort of giving them a sort of, like a guide or a generic sort of like what we would do for this yeah. type of business. Okay. So, on the back yeah. of that, I was like, we'll do a quick file round. Mm. Um, so, I've got 10 business ideas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 10 businesses, on the spot. Okay. 10 businesses yeah. that are like <clears throat> of varying difficulty, but get slightly, slightly harder. Okay. Um, which, yeah, I'm just going to fire at you, and then you've got 60 seconds for each 60 one. 60 seconds? What, so, time or pitch time? <laughs> pitch time. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> pitch time for each one to say, like, what you would do. Do you remember that episode with that disaster? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it all went wrong. <laughs> so, oh, brilliant. Yeah, so, uh, like, yeah, if you're ready. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> so, it will start off easy. So, first one okay. is Carpenter. Okay. okay, so this is from a marketing perspective. Exactly. How do you market? How do you get more carpeting business jobs? <sighs> no, first thing I want to know is what type of carpentry, because they are very, very different. General carpenter. Okay, yeah. so uh, households, yeah. work, carpenter repairs. Okay, so you're looking at online, offline there. So, okay, carpentry would be for me. Word of mouth, it's Facebook, mm-hmm. social media. So the first thing I would do is run Facebook ads mm-hmm. uh, that would be very, very cheap to a very close demographic yeah. to where I live. Because people yeah. like to buy off who they buy, yeah. like to buy off. And then I would offer a recommend a friend type discount scheme yeah. whereby, you know, if you know Mr. Smith introduces Sarah Jones, mm-hmm. they both get a discount element. Yeah. Um, because people like recommendations. Yep. You know, if I'm having work done in my house, I'd like to know that somebody else has had this person. Yep. You know, oh, I've used this guy, he's brilliant. Or yep. I've used this tradesperson, she's amazing. Yep. It's that trust element, so that's where I go. I'd use Facebook to get the first couple. Okay. Uh, and the offline element, very, very small business in a tight location. I'd probably throw some leaflets through some doors, yeah. is the truth, some, or park my van on outside the local shop. Yeah. You know, I'm talking at real early stage. Yeah. Um, Get your van sign written. Yeah, I'm not yeah. a massive believer in sign written vans. Yeah. Um, they don't always give you the uh, return investment, but you know, they do work sometimes. Yeah. But as a trade, it certainly makes you feel professional when yeah. you turn up to the job. The client is, you know, yeah. um, reaffirmed that you're the right person. So, you know, yes, you should have your man sign written, but yeah. but don't look at it as an advertising yeah. first. And Google like my business as well. Oh yes, I've only got sixty seconds. Of <laughs> yeah. course, Google my business. Yes, because it's free yeah. and yeah. yeah, literally geographically location mapped. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Google my business. That's probably number one actually. Yeah. yeah. See, the <laughs> pressure yeah. you the pressure you're putting me under. Yeah. yeah. You can send that send that sentence that one. Order. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next business is a dog walker. Dog walker. Uh, do you know what? Very similar. Mm-hmm. We're talking local here. Mm-hmm. I mean, carpentry, that can be all sorts. But a dog walker, in order for a dog walker to work, mm-hmm. it's got to be a small geographical location yeah. because either the clients bring the dogs to you or you're picking them up. Exactly. It's the only way the maps would work. Yeah. So again, you're looking at community. Yeah. So again, Facebook ads, really targeted down. Yeah. Dog owners in a certain area, they'll be really cheap. Mm-hmm. Google my business page, create lots of photos. Facebook page, mm-hmm. uh, again, dogs move around a lot. They're super fun for TikToks. Yep. Um, you won't get much rate of necessary return on them instantly, yep. but it'll show who you are, fun, the dogs are having fun. Owners will pay, honest to God, anyone who doesn't have a dog won't understand this. Owners will pay for their dogs to have fun with their at work. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So I'm sure you're like a kid, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. What do they call it fur babies? <laughs> yeah. So we work with um, Facebook, da, 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 local, uh, local Facebook groups, I think, is a good one as well. Local Facebook groups is an yeah. amazing one. Get involved, search for those, uh, both on subject and geographical location. Yeah. Each village will have a little t- 
you know, uh, Facebook group yeah. you can advertise yeah. on. Other interesting ones, do you know what I could go I on? I was going to say, yes. Yeah, the same stuff as in Next thing we've got is a window retailer. A window retailer, okay, so um, like house, yeah, the UPC, 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 UPC. glaze. Yeah. Okay, so what are we looking at there? Okay, so online, digitally, again, social is fun. Mm -hmm. My number one, Google My Business. Yep. Okay, number two will be Google Pay Per Click. Mm -hmm because that's a capital purchase. Yeah. If you're gonna have your house windows done, it's several thousand pounds. Yeah. You're going to research that first. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're assuming they've got a website, some yeah. good content. SEO is gonna take too long. Yeah. Always recommend SEO, it's the long, yeah. long term game. Mm -hmm. um, then I would run some localized ads. So again, people wanna buy off local. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, if they don't have something local, they'll buy off of national because of the trust element yep. yeah so if you've got joe blogs upvc windows in your village and they've been around 10 years that's where they'll want to buy off yep. if not they'll go to anglia home improvements a national company knowing they're going to pay a premium yeah, yeah. um for the trust element where did i go with this so google definitely 100 percent pay per click yep. um You've got the physical show, I don't think it's necessary anymore. Um, regional, um, informational, okay, so I'm trying to think of what the terminology is. You know, these booklets that come through the door, mm -hmm. they're very good for an offline yep. advertiser. We helped a garage door company enter a market using pay-per-click and local booklets. Yep. But those local booklets, they're also local websites as well. Okay. You know, think sort of gum tree, but local. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you get yeah. very low cost ads. Um, when you're not targeting like about Yeah, that. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to think of names like My Neighbor or My yeah. Neighborhood or yeah. Next Door. There's a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really good okay. because you only pay for a very small geographical location. Cool. Uh, next one. The last one on the windows would be to reach out to estate agents. Okay. Do some sort of deal because people buy new houses. That's some sort of new, referral scheme. Or, yeah, put yeah. new windows in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, next one we've got a restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant's tough. Mm. Restaurant marketing is a tough, you've got to I told be, you to get harder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So restaurant marketing is, okay, so you've, got, you've not got a lot of choices with restaurant marketing. Yeah, Google My Business, yeah. Facebook pages, mm -hmm. uh, pay per click. Mm -hmm. With a restaurant, you've got to entice people in with an offer. Yeah. Um, I actually read some really good books on restaurant marketing and, and essentially you've got to get them there three times to lock them in as a regular customer yeah uh, so you know, it could be a free dessert yeah could be a free cocktail something low cost but high value yeah uh coffee is another one yep. that's you know high margin low cost yeah um but something to get them in um reviews at everything so you have to entice reviews yep. trip advisor was getting to that yep. um facebook reviews um oh goodness what's the what's the other review guys well, I mean, you always got Google is, yeah. is the main one, but yeah, you've got to drive reviews. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you will not get them without asking. Mm -hmm. So ask them, leave it up, put it on the bottom of your receipt, have a little card, entice them, you know, leave yeah. us a review, get a free ice cream. Or, again, yeah. really, really tough restaurants, yeah. but the magic with them, once you get that client in once, twice, hit the third time, mm -hmm. they'll come regularly, and if somebody comes every other month, yeah. you know, six times a year, and spends hundred pounds with it, or maybe two hundred pounds, I've got family yeah. Yeah. at a restaurant, you haven't got to multiply that up too many times for you're a very rich restaurant here. Exactly. Um, cool. So yeah, you have to keep that one full circular yeah. uh, in in your sort of restaurant economy. Yeah. yeah you get them in, you entice them, yeah. get the review, feedback, mm -hmm. and get them on the newsletter. Cool. No, that sounds good. Mm. Uh, next one we've got is a software company that sells subscriptions. Mm. Oh, well, that's tough. That's a tough, tough one. <clears throat> because you've got to have deep pockets. Mm. I genuinely believe that. You, you know, this is the other occasional one that's a great idea goes viral. Yeah. But predominantly enough, predominantly with software. If it solves a problem that people have, mm. people are going to resonate with it. You just need to get the word out there and the word of mouth. Will... Okay. So what would be my tricks that? It, it can get very expensive to acquire a client. Mm -hmm. So, 
Save as much money as you can by only acquiring clients. You know you're going to stick around long enough. <laughs> so by that, if, I'm going to assume you're already running. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we're talking you're a, a software startup, I yeah. don't know if I can help because you need some deep pockets and you should understand software before you even get anywhere near that. So I'm going to assume you're up and running. I was going to say, when we're production ready, yeah. like, yeah, assume yeah. it's got very healthy profit margins. Yeah, well. you're, you're going on. So you've got yeah. some money, you've got some, some margins. It would be get your client avatar, mm -hmm. uh, survey your existing clients, find out what makes them the same. Are they in the same industry, same age, mm -hmm. demographics? They believe in the same, you know, um, political outlines? Are they of the same geographical? Yeah. Uh, you've basically got to target them. And then make sure that your advertising is focused towards those people. Yeah. You heard of the 80-20 rule. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, if you, if you want to grow a, um, a software company, you need profits. Mm -hmm. If you focus on the people that are more likely to buy, and more important than that, you said software as a service, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Secret to software as a service is retaining clients. Yeah. It's no good getting a client for, you know, if, if you find a software company with a churn rate of, say, four months, yeah. it's like, that's not a software company. Yeah. You know, you want a Netflix. Mm. You know, who counts as their Netflix? Yeah. Not unless something can really die out. Yeah. And again, you need that incentive, I think. So you need to have, like, you know, a special day free trial or, you know, whatever it is. Absolutely. So. Sometimes it could be uh, a piece of information. Yeah. It's, it, it, depending on what type of software, mm. sometimes information is more expensive than money. Yeah. So uh, if you can offer them a free white sheet, yep. that will help with a particular problem that's worth more than 300, 400, 500 pound, yeah. you solve the problem in return for an email address, yep. and then you're targeting them, so with your Facebook ads, you know, if, if your software is sold 90% to females mm -hmm. of a certain age group, Yep. That's what your ads need to point at. Yeah. Not just anyone and everyone. Because yeah. yeah, that, that would be you'll be really busy fools. Yeah. Not right. Cool. Uh, uh, so we've got a couple more. Uh, oh goodness, this is like pressure. We'll do two more. Two more. <laughs> so, uh, we've got car insurance. Oh. I mean we're talking big, big business now. You talk I mean if you're talking <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, we're talking agent, right? Mm. As a local geographical you know uh, insurance agent yeah. and that's a bit different that's yeah. sort of getting involved in the community yeah, yeah. sponsoring the school sports day events yeah. uh, local magazines mm -hmm. uh, getting involved even creating a newsletter yeah. about the area that lived in it with everything going on yeah. the, 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 uh, you know becoming the epicenter of the community yeah. so that community then come to you yeah. for their insurance needs yeah. If you're talking insurance company underwriter sort of, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Admiral, Red Line, yeah, yeah, yeah. Berkshire yeah. Hathaway, I don't know. I've never, <laughs> been, I've never been in that world, so I'll be yeah. completely honest. If you're talking local, regional agent, yeah. Yeah. Google my business. Yeah. Um, community is social, social networks. Yeah. You have to get on them all. Yeah. Twitter, really good one. Yeah. Twitter, um, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, obviously Google places in respect to my business with photos. Yeah, then I would probably create a yeah. Let's say you're in Milton Keynes, I'd probably create a a, a newsletter slash website like Milton Keynes Direct or Milton Keynes Today, and then yeah. I look at all the local events that are happening and, and use that as an updated yeah. sort of thing. Whereby it was a passion of mine to sort of update what's going on. Mm -hmm. To become that centre, I mean, we're talking long term play here, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we're talking you want to be a successful insurance agent, exactly. you know. So, yeah. if you do, yeah. well, welcome to a bit of hard work for a year or two, yeah. becoming an epicenter that traffic's going to come to naturally, yeah. and it's by you, yeah. by you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greg, the insurance agent, yeah. or Sarah Insurance Limited brings you, yeah. and that in turn will bring you work. Yeah. Obviously, as far as people directly searching, yeah. I would say Google. Mm -hmm. And I would have some sort of interactive tool mm -hmm. on my website, some sort of gamification. Insurance is boring. Yeah. If I came to a website and there was something I could slide, twizzle, yeah. when put some calculator in, mm -hmm. something happened that made me remember them, I yeah. think I would remember them. Okay. And whilst premiums are important, they're not everything. Yeah. You know, if, um, if they were, mm -hmm. the cheapest insurance companies in the country would, would have all the business, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. 
Uh, does that answer your question? I think or so, yeah. When I first sort of yeah. blacked out then. It's very generic, isn't it? But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll say the best till last. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is the last one. So, I'm a social media influencer. Oh, are you? How can I market my business? Well, that's uh, probably. <laughs> you say that's difficult, it's probably one of the easiest. I mean, you know. You've already got a following, but. You've already got a following. Do so you want more? So you've got a small following, local following. I mean, look, you've got several ways. You've got to reach out to other social media people and you have to collaborate. Yeah. So it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you time or money. Uh, if you've got an audience that resonates with the, the other influencer's audience and you cross-collaborate, you get to combine audiences and, and get, the, get the opportunity to promote to their audience. Yeah. So that is probably the most simplest way. Mm -hmm. I didn't say easiest. Yeah. Easiest would be ads. Yeah. You can actually drive your audience, grow your audience bigger with adverts, okay, right. but that costs money. Social ads. Yeah, so if you're talking simplest, it would be social ads, yeah. but it costs money. If you're talking cheaper, to probably bring you, bring you more results yeah. is collaboration. Because yeah. you'll start with collaborating with, say, somebody else who's also got 5,000 mm -hmm. followers. Do a collaboration, whatever that looks like. It could be you write an article, a blog post for them, or yeah. you share some product. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you've got an audience and you've got a digital product you sell for a hundred pounds, you might offer to sell it to their audience for twenty, or yeah. or give it even for free. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, negotiate access to that audience to promote to them, yeah. hoping that you can gain a percentage of those over. And they'll benefit as well, won't they? And and then that's the reason they would do it. That's the reason you know if you approach me. I would say, right, okay, what's in it for me? Oh, you've got something I can offer my audience, yeah. which gives me value mm -hmm. because I'd be valuable to them. Yeah. And then if a percentage of that audience also like you mm -hmm. and you're not taking away from my plate, yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. And that's how collaborations work. Cool. So, um, yeah. yeah, I think that's, that's it really as far as social. I'm, look, my experience hasn't been massive with social media influences. I've done a bit for clients who are B2C orientated, yep. looking to get product to market. Mm -hmm. But there are people out there, especially um, yeah, YouTube mm -hmm. um, or even TikTok is another good one to yeah. type it in. You'll get some people super experienced in that space that could give you yeah. probably yeah. better advice. Yeah. But that's off the top of my head. Cool. Well done, dude. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, we'll leave yeah. it there. Excellent. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. See you then. Cheers, bud. Bye.